Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome you all to the University of Manchester and to the splendid surroundings of this, the Whitworth Hall, uh, for this graduation ceremony. In particular, of course, I'd like to welcome our graduates, whose magnificent achievements and hard work we're here to celebrate today. I'd also specifically like to welcome the families and the friends of our graduates, many of whom have travelled long distances to be here for this celebration. We welcome you to the university, and we thank you for the help, support, and encouragement that you've given our graduates during their studies. Now, I'm sure that they've all thanked you privately for that support, but I'd like to now take this opportunity to encourage them to thank you publicly. So, graduates, please think of the tireless support you've received and the sacrifices that have been made on your behalf and give your guests a rousing round of applause. Thank you. Graduations are one of uh, our favourite times in the university calendar. Uh, we're certainly used to seeing the campus busy with students through much of the year, of course. But today, gone are the stresses of the hard work, the deadlines, and of course, those exams. Uh, and instead, we see our graduates happily relaxed. Smiling faces all around, and that's just the parents. Uh, but of course, it does remind all of us here of the importance and the value of this endeavour that we call higher education. Your degree is your own very personal achievement of which you and your families and your friends ought to be justly proud. However, the currency of your degree is enhanced by the reputation of your university. Manchester is world renowned for the quality of its research and its academic accomplishments. The university is ranked sixth overall in Europe and 41st worldwide for the quality of its research. It's currently home to some of the world's finest researchers whose virtuosity is reflected in the fact that we now receive more research grant funding than any other university in the UK. No fewer than 23 of our former staff and students have gone on to become Nobel Prize winners and today our graduates can be found in top positions in science, business, politics, sport, education and the arts. Your job prospects, having studied here, are greatly enhanced because employers all around the world recognise the value of that piece of paper you will soon be holding in your hands. Our career service has been voted the best in the UK for the past five consecutive years and the university is ranked as the fifth most preferred in the world from which to recruit. Indeed, some 90% of our graduates are either in employment or further study within six months of graduation. So this is your last summer off. As students in the Faculty of Life Sciences, you've enjoyed some of the most modern research and teaching facilities in the country and have been taught by some of the finest and most distinguished researchers in the world. The faculty is the most popular destination for students studying biology in the UK and has one of the very highest scores for overall student satisfaction in the National Student Survey. Some of you will have taken advantage of other opportunities, uh, uh, study opportunities that have been uh, on offer to you. Some of you will have ha had placements in industry, for example, perhaps in the UK, perhaps overseas. Others may have taken part in field courses, maybe marine biology in the west of Scotland, uh, or others offered slightly further afield in Mallorca, Greece, or even South Africa. But all of you will leave with a prestigious degree, and whether you choose further academic study or to enter employment, we trust you'll look back on your experiences here with fondness. Now, I'm joined on the stage here by academic colleagues from the Faculty of Life Sciences, and also by a number of staff from professional support services, representing the many support services you may have encountered during your time here, maybe halls of residence, catering, sports facilities, and many others besides. 
These few staff represent a very, very much larger number who have taught you uh, and assisted you through your time here. And I would like to now ask you all to show your appreciation for these staff with another round of applause. Graduates, you have had a long educational journey with us, but I want to remind you that it is not at an end. Albert Einstein once said, education is what remains after what you have learned has been forgotten. Education is what remains after what you have learned has been forgotten. What he meant was that it is not simply the knowledge you have gained that matters. That knowledge has informed your minds, yes, but the mind is also transformed by the very process of education. As Oliver Wendell Holmes once said, a mind once stretched by a new idea never regains its original dimensions. So more important than the factual knowledge you've gained is that you've learned how to become independent, critical thinkers. You've learned how to learn. You've learned how to distinguish between what you know and what you don't. Most importantly, you've developed the skills required to ask the right questions in order to tackle new problems. These are skills that you must now deploy throughout your lives, analysing the problems and obstacles you may face in the future and finding the solutions that will allow you to navigate them successfully. After this ceremony, you will join a community of more than 200,000 University of Manchester graduates living and working in some 200 countries across the globe. The Alumni Association, with branches in many of those 200 countries, will help you re remain in contact with the university and with each other. And I do hope you will make use of the many benefits and services the association offers and enjoy meeting up with one another again in the future. So please don't make today your last contact with the university. Keep the alumni office regularly updated with your address changes, your news, achievements and reminiscences. And remember that our doors will be open to you always. And so on behalf of the university, I congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent academic achievement. And I wish you every success in your future careers. Thank you. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Biology with Honours, Leanne Abrahams. <laughs> Graham Peter Bell. Jonathan Bone. Laura Bowden. Sarah Brown. Martin Carroll. David Michael Cartwright. Amy Rose Corley. Matthew Chapman.
Sarah Jane Chung. Elizabeth Jane Covell. Catherine Mary Alice Crane. Nicholas Dawson. Rachel Dawson. Kyle Adam DeBanks. Rebecca Louise Eccles. Rebecca Graham. Michael Gregg. Jennifer Louise Harrington. Jennifer Kate Hatch. Jonathan Hurd. Yasmin Lala. Charlotte Lane. Samantha Claire Lean. Hannah Claire Lamar. Joy Leng. Joshua Edward Lewis. James Masson. James Anthony Mathias. Daniel McEntee. Luke McLeod. Julia Christine Mudd. Robert Myler. Elizabeth Ann Parkinson. Alice Louise Ridgway. Anna Robinson. Amy Sanderson. Elizabeth Stroud. Hannah Claire Thompson. Timothy Bartholomew Travas. Catherine Ellen Van Russell. Julia Walsh. Anna Grace Barker West. Claire Elizabeth Wilson. And in biology with a modern language with honours, Jonathan Allen Hardman. Stuart William Nichols. And in biology with business and management with honours, Kai Shine Cha. <laughs> Jennifer Ann Harrison.
Claire Louise Lowe. Maria Robin Neve. And in biology with industrial experience with honours, William Esposito. <laughs> Heather Maria uh, Melrose. <laughs> Adam Pirozinski. <laughs> and in biology with science and society with honours, Laura Calvert. Deborah Joseph. Amy Louise Noyes. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry with Honours, Lima Chowdhury. <laughs> Rebecca Elmers. <laughs> Emma Sarah Glee. Thomas Andrew Hodgson. <laughs> Martin Jepson. <laughs> Sadia Haram Khwaja. <laughs> Christopher McGowan. <laughs> Rupert McNeil. <laughs> Min Yan Mian Ng. <laughs> Daniela Bethany Nice. <laughs> Jane Foe. Bethan Amanda Rostron. <laughs> Martin Graham Slater. <laughs> Gillian Marie Spangers. <laughs> Angela Mary Whipperman. and in Biochemistry with Industrial ex Experience with Honours, Teresa Andrew. <laughs> Francis Barker. <laughs> Heather Sophie Davis. <laughs> Sven Evans. Edward James Longbotham. <laughs> Jane <a> Merchant. <laughs> Michael John Patterson. <laughs> Claire Victoria Philp. Valent Stewart. <laughs> Simon Tanley. <laughs> Ruth Elizabeth Watkinson, who also has an Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. Please, my 
Michael Young. And in Biotechnology Enterprise, with honours, Alexander Christopher Derricott. <laughs> Men Si Guo. <laughs> and in Biotechnology Enterprise, with Industrial Experience, with honours, Imelda Prima Giniarsi. Yash Dananjan Patel. <laughs> Siobhan Brenda Spooner. <laughs> Holy Teng. <laughs> and in Cell Biology with Honours, Eamon Ian Morrison. and in Cell Biology with Industrial Experience with Honours, Mark Alexander Jarvis. <laughs> and in Developmental Biology with Honours, Margaret Elaine Gee. <laughs> and in Developmental Biology with Industrial Experience with Honours, Kaylee Johnson, who also has an Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. Melling. And in genetics with honours, Christopher Anthony Adensel. Amjad Nasser Al Rebdi. Elizabeth Claire Asprey. Frederica Aust. <laughs> Kay Bassett. <laughs> Rosanna Elizabeth Coates. <laughs> Sam Hill. Nargis Karatieva. <laughs> Isabel Leung. <laughs> Edward John Mayle. <laughs> Sushil Pal. Hazel Sanivar. <laughs> Hibba Shah. <laughs> and in genetics with industrial experience with honours, Catherine Louise Aitchison. <laughs> Grace Samar Kazar. Angela Dawn Kelsey. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Biochemistry with honours, Charlotte Abrahamson. James Andrew Hargreaves. <laughs> Christian Heffernan. <laughs> Serena Siobhan Mera. <laughs> Alison Claire Murphy. <laughs> J. 
James Edward Redman. Christelle Zengamambu. And in medical biochemistry with industrial experience with honours, Elias Oliver Mohammed Amin. James Robert Samuel Bowers. Emily Burns. Adam DeCall. Lewis Anthony Green. Elizabeth Mary Nutkansky. Laura Jane Pallett. Richard Panayautu. Michalena Xenophontos. Slobodan Zivkovic. And in microbiology, with honours, Peter Hart. Sarah Joan Morris. Simon Payne. Umi Seka. Rhiannon Jane Thorning. And Matthew Young. And in microbiology with industrial experience with honours, Elizabeth Ilva Jenkins. Francis Anna Medaney. Jonathan Paulson. Rebecca Jane Sidwell. Mikkel Yatek Sobkoviak. And in molecular biology, with honours, Elizabeth Jane Wood. And in molecular biology with a modern language, with honours, Claire Elizabeth Gaffney. And Caroline Starzynski. And in molecular biology with industrial experience, with honours, Carmen Victoria Jack. And in plant science, with honours, Chelsea Allen. Peter David Bickerton. Matthew Miller. And in plant science, with industrial experience, with honours, Alex Hurst. and Danielle Satterthwaite. And in zoology, with honours, Sarah Grace Bagley. Andrew Robert Barrow. Natalie Jane Beresford. Christopher Bird, <laughs> J. 
George Bruce. <laughs> Sophie Burgess. <laughs> Catherine Rebecca Cadaret. <laughs> Claire Sarah Jean Collins. Andrew Graham Farrow. Karen Hagenbottom. Ben Stewart Hurst. Sandy Maria Ellingworth Rudd. Andrew Javan Johnson. <laughs> Jessica McKilveen. <laughs> Charlotte Ellen Parrott. <laughs> Catherine Helen Peters. Thomas Jeffrey Potter. <laughs> Kaylee Rose. <laughs> Paul Shepherd. <laughs> Dominic Leo St. Louis. Joseph William Stephen Timothy. <laughs> Avanti Peace Wadugotapitia. <laughs> Kieran Woolmer. <laughs> and in zoology with a modern language, with honours, Thomas James Ellis. And in zoology with industrial experience, with honours, Nicola Brennan. <laughs> Faye Cameron. <laughs> Daniel Myers. <laughs> and Joanna Elizabeth Plant. Today we are celebrating the award of our degrees. Congratulations. On behalf of the University of Manchester, I extend to each of you our very best wishes for your future. I now declare this ceremony closed.